<laughs> Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Scrambled Jakes. If you want a cinnamon roll the size of Jimmy Himes' head, check out Scrambled Jakes. These cinnamon rolls are huge, huge. Well, if I'm talking about it, they're almost as big as Chuck's ego. That's how big these cinnamon rolls are. Uh, but it's also a great place to start your work day. Monday through Friday, terrific food to eat in, take out, plus great coffee. They got the brunch time drinks. If you want to go have some fun, Scramble Jake's Breakfast Company, scramblejakes.com out in Rocky Hill. Check them out. Okay. Will's just sitting over here saying, what's he going to say about He's me? He's just laughing and giving him a pass. <laughs> Will's bigger. I'm not saying anything about him. Uh, there's the SEC scoreboard from yesterday. The asterisk <clears throat> means that somebody's still on Tennessee's schedule. We don't have a lot of time for this segment. I want to save some time for some Tennessee questions next. So let's just focus on Alabama, Georgia here. Uh, Georgia gave them a good game. Uh, their quarterback had a couple of mistakes that cost them in the end. But that Georgia defense, I thought was the best in the SEC. I still think it's the best in the SEC. Mm -hmm. Alabama torched it. Yeah. Your thoughts yeah. on what Tennessee is up against next Saturday? Uh, they're up against a torch. <laughs> uh, I think that uh, Alabama has an elite offense. Their quarterback is playing at an extremely high level. they got the best collection of receivers maybe in the country. they got a great running back in Nigel Harris, a good offensive line. Alabama will score in the 40s on just about anybody they play. I think they're tremendous. Yeah, I mean, I believe it's uh, 17 straight games they've scored at least 35 points. And I tell you, you want to see an NFL receiver, that Devonta Smith, yeah. wow. And it was the friend with him and the, uh, Jay, what is it, Jalen Waddle. First yeah. time in school history, Alabama had two receivers go over 160 yards. So, I mean, that's, that's what you're looking at there. You talk about turning one of your slants, taking it to the house. If Tennessee doesn't defend that, we'll count. Will, your thoughts on what Alabama brings in here? Alabama brings, you know, something different than Nick Saban had, except for the last couple of years. He's realized this is about a throwing offense. And if you have that, you have a chance. It's, it's because of the rule changes and everything else, the offenses are getting so much more advantage when you're throw, you can throw the ball. And it's easier now to establish that than it is the run. And, and so it's in a league of where you got to be able to score a lot of points to be in the game. And, John, they showed the, the passing chart for Mac Jones, who may be the player of the year in the SEC. He was throwing it to every section, yeah. all nine areas. He was completing at least one pass to all nine areas. It, it used to be really good defense could shut down offense. Not anymore. We did a thing. And let's talk about Kentucky very quickly. I don't have crow to eat, but uh, Tennessee was so bad they didn't even give Kentucky a chance to blow it which is what Kentucky <laughs> normally does. And I say that with love. I grew up in Middlesboro for several years. But the, uh, the Kentucky thing is they always find a way, typically, to some painful new way to lose to Tennessee. It's like Tennessee with Florida. And yesterday, they won it on the line of scrimmage. And we did a segment, uh, I guess it was back when COVID first hit in the spring, where we talked about ranking SEC coaches. Mark Stoops was way up there. Mm -hmm. And I think yep. he deserves it. If he, yeah. if he ever finds a real top-notch quarterback, Look out. He's hey, doing a great job. I had a coach tell me in the offseason when I, I called him to do these anonymous quotes, and he said every <laughs> year, if you're not sure who to put as a coach of the year in the SEC, you can go with Mark Stoops. He's done that good of a job. And speaking of COVID, John, was anybody surprised Nick Saban was cleared to coach in the game? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Imagine that. All right, so I guess that kills our Mark Stoops. Question. Sorry, <laughs> Nick, man, blame Chuck. When we come back, we're going to talk Tennessee. <laughs> Three questions about the ball, including Jeremy Pruitt's extension. Come on back on the sports horse.